Well, Chance, obviously the offense did not get the job done on Saturday. Kind of talk about what has to be done to get this offense going. Doing, I mean, the first game, you piled up some yards, moved the ball between the 20s and couldn't finish. Right. Second game, you didn't move the ball at all. Right. Terrible numbers. What what has to happen to get it going? Um, really, offensively, I think what we got to do is just is, is stick to Navy football. Um, you know, we, we saw a really big spark to that. You know, game one, you know, we went, went back and watched it again today. There are a lot of chunk plays. You know, a lot of plays where we were gaining four, five, six, you know, seven-plus yards of play. We just got to finish, right? You know, game one, you got to finish. You know, game two, we come out there, we just really just laid a goose egg. Um, so I think what we got to do is just refocus, um, you know, retrain our minds to, to, you know, to finish in the red zone. Um, just do what Navy football does. Kind of where do you see the group, the unit as right now? Oh, no, we're, we're, we're confident. Um, you know, we just had a team meeting on Sunday, just the players. Um, we've got 11 games to play still. You know, it's early. Um, you know, not a start we wanted at all. 0-2 is, is never how you want to you know, start the season off. You never want to lose to your rivals. But we have a lot to play for. Haven't started in conference yet. Um, we can still win the CIC, still win our conference. So uh, we know that we just got to dial it back in, uh, you know, take this week and a half to prepare for Houston, come out there and get a big win. So as we know, when the offense doesn't get the job done, coaches get blamed. From your all's standpoint, do you all take it as players and say, you know what, we got to take some responsibility here? Is that kind of what maybe you talked a little bit about in that meeting on Sunday? Absolutely. Um, you know, we're not ever going to be a team to point fingers. We're not ever going to be a group, you know, to, to point, you know, and aim blame at somebody else. You know, it's on us. Offensively, you know, we get put into play. We got to execute it to the highest ability um, possible. You know, so it comes down to us being grittier, you know, tougher than the other team, um, just putting points on the board. You know, it's it's on us as players. So, I mean. We know that the offense works when executed properly. Is that kind of the focus, like you said, to get back to running Navy triple option the way it's supposed to be run? Can you kind of talk about that? Absolutely. I mean, if you just look at the top 10 college football rushers and touchdown scores in college football history, you know, it's guys like Keenan Reynolds, Malcolm Perry, Will Worth, Ricky Dobbs, guys that are cemented, you know, in that history that we've all come through here and ran this same offense. Um, nothing's changed. You know, there's no new plays that we're throwing in. It's all the same stuff. So we know that it works. We just got to believe and trust in the 11 guys that's on the field, you know, trusting the coaching staff that we can do it. Um, you know, I think that starts with Cooper and I and, and Pierce as well, you know, just leading from out front um, and getting the guys going in the right direction. So, I mean, I see you'd make prediction, but do you feel confident telling Navy fans that they will see a different offense out there against Houston in two Saturdays from now? Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I think they'll see a lot of what game one was, you know, just moving the ball kind of at free will. And then they're going to see, because we've got a new, you know, improved focus on finishing, they're going to see us, you know, get our, get our feet in the end zone and, and put some points on the board come Houston. Well, I was just talking to Chance, offense. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it wasn't what you expect, what you want against the Air Force. How do you turn things around? I think it all starts with our mentality. Uh, just, you know, despite all the odds, despite all the outside noise, just knowing that we have each other and that we're all working hard. When you, when you can learn to really trust that brother next to you, then you don't have to worry about a first down because you know it's going to happen. So this week is just a lot of, a lot of recovery, a lot of, a lot of mental training, and, and even just reflection on us, ourselves individually leading into next week and, and all our eyes are on Houston. All the outside noise doesn't matter. So, um, you know, I don't want to talk too much about Air Force, but in your view, what happened? I mean, the yardage numbers, I mean, you just you weren't able to move the ball. I mean, was it a fact that Air Force defense is just that good and you all couldn't, had nothing you could do against this great defense, or do you feel like some of it was self-inflicted? I mean, obviously you have to look at yourself first. I think there's a lot of internal errors like, you know, misassignments, you know, trying to do more than what your job is. Our, 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 one of our big tendencies is first to take care of the ball, and then second is do your job. Uh, and, and you know you have to in those big kind of games you kind of hung high strong like oh I want to win so you want to win so bad right. that you want to you want to go out and block all 11 people on defense you just can't do that you know you have to keep your head low uh, but those are all things though like what's encouraging is those are all things that you can fix those are all things that we ourselves can can get after to be able to move the ball on anybody in the country. So I was talking to Keenan Reynolds because I do a podcast with him and he's like. You know, in a game like that, you do have to loosen them up. You got to make plays. They're playing man-to-man -man coverage. Do you feel like that was something that needed to be done on Saturday? That if you could have connected some passes downfield, that could have changed everything. I mean, football is a, football is a game of inches and a game of playmakers. Uh, anything can change the game. A, a big run can change the game. You know, we had we had some opportunities to make some big runs earlier on that that could have sparked a fire, just like a big pass would. You know, so when it when it comes to all that, it's kind of iffy to say what maybe man coverage and passing would have done, but I know that us as a team, we had chances to get it done, and we will in two weeks.
So obviously, I mean, the fans look at Air Force and it's doom and gloom, but the fact of the matter is one week prior, you did move the ball really well between the 20s. You put up, you know, typical Navy offensive numbers. I, mean, I think in your minds for confidence level, you have to go back and say, we can do this. Oh, oh, for sure. I know we, we all went back and we had a, we had a team meeting and we, we just watched, you know, both the games and we just went over plays like, that we're easily moving the ball six, seven, five, four yards at a time. All you need is four yards to play, and you win every game you play. So I completely agree. It's not like it's not. It's like I said. It's not a lack of confidence thing. We know we can do. It. We know we have the guys that can do. It. We know we have skilled players. You know, we know we have playmakers. It's just buckling down and doing your job and focusing on the win. And obviously, we know from recent events that you know when you play poorly, coaches get blamed. But it's not just coaches. Um, I think the coaches usually put you in position to succeed. I mean, do you feel like players have to take some responsibility for what happened Saturday? In my personal opinion, players have to take all the responsibility for happening on Saturday. Uh, you know, just talking, you know, just thinking me, me reflecting on myself and me reflecting on, on my play and talking with some of the guys, like, I would say the consensus is we have to make plays and that we being the players, you know, and we have to, you know, buckle down and do our jobs. And when you do those things, like you said, I think coaches, actually I know our coaches put us in our positions to win games. Pierce, I was just talking to Michael Cooper and Chance Warren, your co-captains, and you're another senior leader. Obviously, the offensive performance Saturday was not what we expect out of Navy football. How do you get things turned around? You know, it starts with practice and the mentality, you know, getting back out here, you know, doing what we do, you know. You know, for us as offense linemen, living in the shoots, staying low, firing off the ball, just getting after it every play. So kind of talk about the offensive line because there wasn't a lot of movement. The Air Force seemed to win the line of scrimmage, and I know that's hard to except when you play a service academy opponent. I mean, you're looking to establish the dive and you know James Harris is pounding into your backs and uh, he's not able to get much yardage. Can you talk about, did you all as an offensive line, just the line, I know you had a team meeting Sunday team wide, but as a line, did you get together and say, we got to pick this up? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's the main focus at our meeting, you know, as, as you know, specifically as offensive line is, you know, I, like, like, you know, I just said, like getting out here and staying low. I mean, if you're watching us, you know, putting the pads on the, gr pads on the ground and getting low and firing off the ball, you know, that's, you know, main emphasis for us. I mean, that's what we live, live for. I mean, is getting the, you know, bull, uh, the fullbacks some yards. So definitely, definitely point of emphasis for us. So obviously Navy fans, you know, they, it's always, what have you done for me lately? And the last game was Air Force, which is in their minds dismal. Um, but the fact of it is one week before you did move the ball well between the twenties, you put up great offensive numbers minus sure. the scoring. Uh, uh, confidence level, you have to still believe yeah, exactly. that you all can get the job. Yeah, and we had a team meeting actually earlier uh, today, or, you know, offensive did, uh, you know, watching some Marshall film, and we, we did do some good things. I mean, like I said, we put up 337 yards rushing. I mean, we haven't done that in, you know, two years. You know, so definitely, you know, there is definitely some hope. You know, we're not giving up. You know, we still have, you know, 10 games left, 11 games left. Uh, so, you know, just getting after every play, you know. So obviously we've seen from recent events, you know, when things don't go well, coaches get blamed. But the fact of the matter is players play and have to make plays. And I've asked Coop and Chance the same thing. Do you feel that the players accept some responsibility? Oh, for absolutely. I mean, these failures? yeah, absolutely. I mean, like you said, I mean, offense lines got to be better. I mean, point Blake, I mean, we got to stay low, fire off the ball and, you know, move, move the line of scrimmage, you know. Um, so absolutely. It's, you know, part of it's definitely us for sure. Do you feel confident saying that the fans will see a different offense product out there all against Houston? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Completely different. Completely different. Back to Marshall, but we're in a fish end zone.